Hi Pisces, welcome to your spirit guide messages for May. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you for stopping by. So these are the messages, what you need to know, what spirit wants you to know, your spirit guides. So we're going to take the messages as they come. So I guess take them however they resonate for you, whether they're a guidance, affirmations, um, advice, clarity, um, whatever energy comes out, uh, we're going to take it here. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter, male or female. So let's see what we get here for Pisces. Welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. This also could be confirmation messages also, maybe that you need to hear at this time. So please only take the messages as they resonate for you. So let's see what we have for Pisces at this time, Spirit, please. And also, Pisces, you can check the description box below. Lots of stuff down there, uh, links to your past playlist if you want to check those out. Um, I do consider them timeless, even though they're dated. Um, decks I'm using on, are down there, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading, if you'd like to uh, tip or donate, send a gift, or just mail in general. All that info is below. And if you're new and you want to check out the channel, see if you like what you see, uh, feel free to like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get about five readings a month, so if you do, thank you. So let's see. I will pull three oracles from each deck, and then I will pull tarot, probably like one or two for each card for a little more uh, meaning. And then I have these uh, prayer cards, so I'll pull one of those at the end for you. So Pisces. Let's see what we have for Pisces. Spirit, please. What do they need to know? The general collective. This is a general collective reading, not a private reading for Pisces. And this one. This one and that one. All right. I'll pull them all first and then we'll go over. You can leave me a comment if you would prefer that I pull these uh, ahead of time and they just come on camera. I can do that, but I like to show the shuffling and the pulling of the cards so you know you can see that it's not set up before uh, I come on camera. So let's get some messages here. So we have the numerology, this is the moonology. Then we have the soul's journey, and then we have um, Celtic tarot for clarification. All right, so let's get some messages from the Moonology here for Pisces, General Collective. What does spirit need to tell Pisces at this time? Thank you so much. What do they need to know? Messages for Pisces, two more, one more for Pisces. There we go. I knew it, I could feel it, that there was gonna be a flyer. And we get three of the soul's journey here for Pisces. Three messages for Pisces. What does spirit need to tell Pisces at this time? What do they need to know for the general collective? Sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, male or female, watching for the collective. Oh, we got two already. One more, one more for Pisces, please. One more for Pisces. Oh, that one. All right, Let's see what we got for you, Pisces. We have 56 here, relationship change. 56 is 11, and 11 to me is always half the twin flame number, but it doesn't have to be. But if you add that together, that's two, which is about unity. So something in your relationship is changing here. It could be any kind of relationship. It could be family, friends, uh, coworkers, uh, you know, a love relationship, however that is for you. And then we do have here comic completion. Wow, 10. Again, 10s are about endings and completion. So this definitely is tying into this relationship change, Pisces. So you could be um, ending a long-term relationship or just a relationship in general. That was a karmic relationship. And that is the change here. And we do have spiritual partnership. So we have 27, which is 9. And 9, again, also is about coming almost to the end of a completion so you could have a new um, person in your life who's very spiritual, who's helping you, guiding you. It could be a mentor, a counselor, or something like that. Or you could be meeting a new person who is very spiritual and more um, on your level or something like that. Or this is you just having a new spiritual relationship with the divine, with the universe. Um, your spirit team, having that new spiritual 
relationship in that way. So we'll see when we clear, uh, clarify with the tarot. So let's see what the moonology has to say. Believe in the impossible, blue moon. So this is believe in something impossible, so whatever that means for you. And we have here slow, show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So something either with an Aquarius or Aquarius season, which is the end of July, uh, January into February. And we do have here, bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. So you could either be dealing with an Aquarius. We've got two Aquarius cards here. This could be a new spiritual partnership for you. It could be an Aquarius. Or it could be happening in the next Aquarius season. Or they are an Aquarius. Wow. I'm feeling like maybe if this is a new partnership, Maybe you thought it was impossible to have this after this karmic completion. But Spirit wants you to know it's okay to show the world this uh, relationship, if this is pertaining to you, to show the world the love into the, that's in the situation and to believe in the impossible. So we'll see when we clarify. Wow. So let's see. We have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and awareness, my awareness. So some of you here are definitely having some spiritual growth. In some way it could be the help of another person judgment I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges so this could be about judging others or not judging others or needing to make a final decision or judgment call or something here so let's see envy I am the same as everybody but with different challenges so you could be envious of somebody or somebody's envious of you or there could be some jealousy maybe you know it's a challenge for you here maybe this is the growth that's needed is to grow beyond this judgment and jealousy maybe okay so let's see let's see let's clarify these energies for you Pisces or Pisces, clarifying these energies for Pisces, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Clarify relationship change for Pisces, please. Thank you so much. That's too many for Pisces. What is this relationship change? That's too many for Pisces. Thank you. Okay, let's take that one. We have the Knight of Pentacle energy. So this is moving along <laughs> to stability. Practical, pra it may be taking a long time here. Because um, the Knight of Shields moves along very slowly. He's practical. He's smart. He's cautious. Uh, he plans. He speculates. He, you know, it's just very, very slow moving and cautious. So this might be, and it might have to do with something with money. So it's a very slow moving a relationship change. So let's get one more. I feel like I need one more. Yeah, okay. So definitely here we have death here. So this is definitely the ending of a, a relationship of some kind here with death, but it's taking time and it could pertain because there's money involved. And so it's very, very slow moving here. All right. So, but there it can be, you know, death is all about endings, but then there's transformation and healing. Um, so there can be a new beginning. So what is this karmic completion about for Pisces? Karmic completion for Pisces, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. The Five of Swords. So it might have been an energy here. Yeah, very karmic energy of like bickering back and forth, one upping one another. Um, that kind of energy. like trying to prove each other right, wrong, and, you know, all that quarreling and one-upping and backstabbing and all that energy. All right, what else? Yeah, wow, Eight of Cups. Yeah, definitely walking away from that energy, this comic completion. Yep, walking away from this, but in pursuit of something new. All right, so what is this spiritual partnership about for Pisces? Pisces, the mother. So this is the Empress energy. So you could be a mother, 
Um, but this definitely is Empress energy. So knowing your value, your worth. So maybe finally coming in tune in touch with you, who you are, getting your power back, um, becoming maybe very spiritually um, educated, trusting in divine source and that kind of energy and being in that power, that divine power. All right, so, so this could be just a spiritual relationship with yourself, uh, growth, expansion, knowing your value, your worth also. All right, so what is Believe in the Impossible about for Pisces? For Pisces, Believe in the Impossible for Pisces. So I have the two of swords here. So yeah, very indecisive energy, not sure. Uh, yeah, so you're not sure. You're not really believing something here that you think is impossible or maybe something you need to make a decision on. You think, oh, that's impossible, you know, and so you're kind of uh, blocking it or it's blocking you, um, being indecisive, not, to, not just uh, believing that this just won't happen. So like refusing to make the decision, maybe. So let's get one more for believing the impossible. Why is it two of swords here? For Pisces, please. Ace of shields. So this is a, a stable new beginning. Growth, abundance, long-term energy, uh, stable foundation. So this could be a new job. This could be um, an offer from somebody new. Because this is new energy, a new brand new beginning. So maybe, you know, this could be you just going off on your own after this comic completion and believe in and not believing in yourself and believing that you can have um, this new beginning all on your own. But this is telling you to be in that spiritual energy, divine energy of the divine feminine, believing in yourself and having self-worth and value, growth, expansion, intuition, compassion, passion, I mean, all that energy. This is the mother of the deck and bodies like all the energy of the deck of all the queens. So you can have a stable new beginning here, even if it's solo or on your own or with somebody new. So it's just telling you, just believe. Don't be too quick to make harsh decisions either. All right, Pisces. What is show the world the real you about for Pisces? The two of wands. So being at a crossroads. What path do I take? What path do I go down? Not sure what to do here with the two of wands energy. So why are we at a crossroads? What is that about? To show the world the real you. What is this crossroads about? Seven of cups. So this is about confusions, um, confusion, options, choices. Could be about love or it could just be in life in general. Maybe you're afraid to go out, like I said, go out on your own and be just you, yourself, and show the world just you, who you are as a solo energy. You could have Aquarius in your chart. Maybe it's your moon sign. Um, all right, so, so we got two cards of Aquarius here. It's like, don't be afraid to go down that road, to make that choice to go down that road to show the world the real you, so whatever that means for you. All right, so what is bring love into the situation? Eight of Swords. So again, mental entrapment and confusion, stuck in your head about something. So what are we stuck in our head about? For Pisces. The Queen of Swords energy here. So again, you could have Aquarius in your chart. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So this is truth, clarity. This to me is always divine intervention, divine energy, divine clarity. Um, having truth and clarity, open, honest communication, telling it like it is, cutting away things no longer serving. So if you've been a little cold and harsh and stuck in your head, maybe because of all this past energy, I think it's time to get more into your Empress-like energy here and uh, being more like loving and compassionate energy. Because the queen, king, queen, swords, whatever, sometimes they can be cold, kind of cutting, so, and I do see the sun back there, which is fire, which is about bringing in warmth and fire and passion. All right, so we have the rainbow there for a luck and expansion. So 
I think maybe you need to get in a little more of a warm, loving energy if you've been kind of cold and cutting and like stuck in that energy. All right, so what is this growth? I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness about. We got two, we'll take them. Ten of Wands, yeah, laying down a burden here. An ending, an some ending at that. Laying down burdens no longer serving you. And the Page of Shields. So this could be growth, again, learning something new. Um, this could be education. This could be a new job um, or something like that, or a job offer coming in. It's stable, it's secure. So there could be something here where you could be have an opportunity to lay down. It could be a burdensome a job you've had or something like that. If not, then something that was burdensome to you, but an opportunity to grow and expand either in your work, your career, uh, education, or something like that. And uh, opportunity for definitely uh, growth here. So let's see. So what is this judgment about for Pisces needing to make a decision or not, not needing to be not so maybe judgmental of others or worried people will judge you for some reason or waiting on a judgment on something. So what is this about for Pisces? The Ten of Shields. So this could be about marriage, about a marriage, uh, a judgment call on a marriage commitment. Um, this is about, you know, financial aspects of a long-term marriage also. So if you're waiting on a settlement or um, something like that, or a judgment call about the finances from a marriage, that could be it also. What here? What else? Let's get one more. I feel like I need one more for judgment. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? All right, let's take this one. The Magician. So this is manifesting a brand new beginning. So I definitely feel like here, we have the Fool right here too. So I feel like this is manifesting something new. So you could be waiting on a judgment call about money coming in from a marriage or something like that because we did have the relationship karmic completion and walking away and leaving that energy and ending over here. So if you're waiting on a judgment call, whether this is divorce or something and splitting of the finances of the assets, so you can finally manifest a brand new beginning here so that I see that coming in. And I see the number 12 there. So maybe something about the month of December might mean something. And let's see. Let's see, what is this envy? I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges for Pisces, please. The Ten of Cups. <laughs> so this is happiness, joy, fulfillment, happy home and family. So there definitely was challenges here in the family dynamic. And maybe you're envious of other people because you see other people still in their long-term commitments, marriages, being happy, having a happy home and family. And maybe you're thinking, why didn't it work out for me? being kind of jealous and envious of these other people that are still in this happy Ten of Cup energy. But this was a challenge for you, unfortunately. So let's get one more as to why the Ten of Cups is here. The Queen of uh, Pentacles energy. So this is, again, she's usually, you know, the mother, the wife, the nurturer, the caregiver kind of energy. So it's kind of like you're reviewing, like doing a life review here, looking at this pentacle, like what didn't work, why didn't work it work, you know, what went wrong kind of energy. You know, thinking things were stable, secure, grounded um, kind of energy. But I still think here, you know, you still have this opportunity in life to still be in this energy, whether it's alone or with somebody uh, new here. So... Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Six of Cups. So you could be re reuniting with someone from your past. This could be the new love coming in, or it could just be old friends, family, coworkers from a long time ago reuniting or thinking back fondly of um, memories of the past and the relationship that you're coming out of, thinking of the good times and reminiscing. So different energies there also, so however that resonates for you. So let's get, let's get a message, a prayer for you. 
could involve children, um, you know, just becoming closer to your children. Also, if you have children, say you see a child there, you could be moving back home. You could be, um, you know, your childhood home or going on vacation or revisiting your childhood home. All right, so let's see. Although there's no traveling right now, but... Um, what is the prayer for Pisces? Let's get a closing prayer for Pisces, please. What do they need to know at this time for Pisces? Thank you so much. One. And we have, I will thank the Lord with all my heart. So this is being, um, having gratitude, thankful, appreciative for what you did have in your life. Thankful for the lessons you learned. Um, thankful for whatever you have coming in the future and just being in that uh, state of gratitude. Okay, Pisces, uh, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.